Welcome to RMD All Things Aesthetics and Wellness Podcast with me, your host, Dr. Deborah Durst, and my co-host. Hey guys, Faraday Golombieski, nurse practitioner here at Revitalize MD. Trending is the semi-glutide phase, but the semi-glutide ass is something that we may have seen, at least what would be the result of weight loss in the butt that's too fast or too much. So is it fact or fiction that there is a semi-glutide ass? We're going to talk all about it. Okay. If you have heard of semi-glutide face or interested in hearing about it or learning about it or knowing yeah. if it's fact or yeah. fiction, click on our... Uh, on the other video. On the other video. Something. Thank yeah. you. I'm like on our channel, <laughs> on our, on our video. Podcast, yes. Because we've talked about it. Or you can listen in, but, um, but then we'll have some pictures on the actual video part. But again, like and subscribe share with friends and if you like to hear content that helps you know about new and progressive procedures or how to look or feel or function better then you need to like and subscribe so you get notifications of our videos we have a picture and we're going to put it up on the screen if you're watching a video if you're on a podcast you can check it out on our youtube channel but of or SMI, our website. Uh, yeah, or the, or the website. But you're going to basically see a picture of a before and after semi-glutide or not semi-glutide, but again, excessive weight loss. So not um, an overweight person to begin with or not like extremely overweight, but had a goal weight of a certain amount that that he wanted to lose and had been on semi-glutide. Again, when you're over 50 and you lose too much or too fast, then we already have loss of butt collagen mass and elastin and, and, and volume and in fat yes. in our ass as we age, right? That's I mean everyone as they age, you see like Sex in the City video, right? Yeah. The Sex in the City of the the guy that got up and went to the bathroom and he's she's like he doesn't smell, he doesn't feel like a seventy year old, but. <laughs> He has a seven-year-old ass, you know, whatever yeah. it was. So it's a cute episode. But as we get older, we lose butt volume. And so basically look at the before and afters. And you can see the after because we gave him a booty in an hour here in the office. So you can use some biostimulatory fillers um, to increase that, you know, the buttock and the look and the shape. What else can you do? Not lose too much or too fast as you get older because when we talk about semi-glutide butt or semi-glutide face definitely fiction, fiction it is not sure. yeah. a, a side effect of the medication it is a side effect of excessive weight loss rapidly yes so not even you know i don't even know if it's excessive just rapid weight loss we don't give the skin time to snap back we don't have as much collagen and elastin as we age, so the skin isn't going to snap back. So slowing that weight loss and then... You just don't bounce back. You like don't. You and then treatments there. to fix it. So yes. what can we do with a booty? BBO, yeah. essentially, a yeah. non-surgical BBO. Yeah. We can do um, hyperdilute radius and... Give some texture back. Give and, some texture. And skin tightening. Yep. But again, like... It all comes down to it's not an effect of the medication or the peptide that is. It is a result of aging changes that happen. So 1% yes. of collagen loss a year, collagen elastin loss in the skin. So that's already why we get sagging and wrinkles and fine lines. Mm -hmm. And then you get fat loss. And in the face, you get fat and bone. And we go into more detail in the other videos to click on the semi-glutide face and whether that's fact or fiction. But I think you probably already know at least the the end you just don't know the details basically it's aging changes and now you've lost weight too fast or too too much so i hope that makes sense yes. so that if you're going on to semi-glutide it seems to be a huge thing um that it's all over you know the news and social media just make sure that you have a goal weight that is either over a longer period of time or that you don't lose as much if you're older and already experiencing some weight loss and then again filler yep. and depends on what type of filler yep. can be used in either place to help uh, return that volume loss and if you are taking one of those medications and you are losing weight you don't want to lose muscle so preserve the muscle in the back end as much as you can what is there by eating protein making sure you're doing your squats it's not going to fix it all it's not going to repair the skin but as long as you can keep that muscle yes. nice and tone you're going to do some of the work. Well, there is a reason why when we're doing body contouring procedures, 
and we're doing fat reduction and skin tightening that we don't ever want to kill fat on the face because we want fat in the face yes. and you just have a global loss when you're losing weight everywhere you're going to lose weight in the face too yeah. and then we never kill fat in the ass because you don't want to ever do that so we're body contouring the banana roll underneath yes. the legs but never retexturing yes. if there's dimpling or um, cellulite yes. so yeah. retexturing the skin but not getting rid of the fat back there let us know what you think and let us know if you have any experiences take a look at the picture and let us know what you think of the before and after picture they're pretty amazing hour. it's amazing it's an hour you'll get a little lumps and lumps right after like this one, but in 72 hours, they're gone and it improves with time. If you want to hear anything else, let us know because we are here to deep dive into anything wellness, aesthetics, or sexual wellness. Thank you. Thank you.